Hello and happy fall, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the 31 Days of Fall series on my channel, Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry. Welcome back. Today, I am going to be doing my Coffee Bar Refresh Fall Edition. Hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my 31 Days of Fall. Today, we're going to be featuring my Coffee Bar Refresh. And we're going to be adding in all of those favorite hot beverage drinks that we all love so well. Pumpkin spice and everything nice and our hot cocos and our ciders, as well as our regular coffee that we all like to incorporate for, well, those of us who are coffee drinkers. And then also, I'm going to add in some tea for our tea toddlers out there as well. So join me as I give my coffee bar a refresh. Come on. First, I'm starting out by clearing off the decks. I'm removing all of my current coffee and tea staples to um, clean and get a really good clean slate so I can just really wipe down and scrub off all of the um, mist sugar and honey and drips of coffee, drips of tea, drips of creamer, all of the stuff that we sometimes can miss. Some things may fall behind your coffee machine, all of that. So it's always good to just clear the decks and start off by just clearing and cleaning from the bottom up. Next, I'm going in with my Mrs. Meyers Apple Cider Multi-Purpose Spray. This fragrance is so yummy. It's one of my all-time favorite fall scents. I do like the um, acorn spice, but this by far is my favorite fall scent. I love mums, but this just does it for me. So I'm wiping down all my surfaces, even my walls. Okay, so now I am starting on my Keurig coffee maker. I'm wiping it down. I'm gonna give it a really good deep cleaning. The change of seasons is always a good time to really concentrate on the items that you use daily in your house. And this is just such a good time to just really pay attention and give your items a good detailed scrub down and a wash. This is also a good time to do a coffee machine descaling. And what you would normally do is add one cup of vinegar and the rest of the solution, you fill up water in your coffee reservoir and you run cycles through until it's no more. And then to rinse it all out, you just add your next batch. You add just plain water to rinse out your coffee maker. And I tell you the difference you surely can tell when you get all the gunk out. It's always just important to try to clean our appliances, especially if it's going into your body. Now I'm going in with my Mrs. Meyers Clean Day Apple Cider Dish Detergent, and I'm adding that to some really hot water, and I'm going to dump all of my Keurig coffee machine parts inside so I can give them a really good wash and scrub down. I'm going to say that there is nothing like clean dishes, nothing like clean appliances, especially when you're doing a um, fall cleaning in your home and you know that everything is nice and squeaky clean. It's just nothing like it. Guys, do me a favor and comment down below what are your fall favorite beverages? 
Are you a coffee drinker and you like the pumpkin spice? Do you like the herbal teas? Do you like cocoa? Do you like apple cider? Comment down below and let me know what your beverage of choice is. I did forget to mention, when you're cleaning your Keurig K-cup holder, please be careful because there is a really sticky, sharp pin inside the um, pin that punctures your K-cup. So just wash with caution. All right, so after I washed all of my components on my Keurig, this is, I put it to, back together and this is my finished product. So a nice clean Keurig and I just um, cleaned and wiped down all of my uh, condiments for my coffee and I added a few touches for the fall. So let me just go ahead and show you. So as usual, I will purchase pretty plates and napkins just in case you want a treat. So here you have some maple leaf cookies that I picked up from the market, as well as the um, biscotti or the biscoff cookies, the little biscuits. And so if you would like to have a treat or two, you can use your plates here and have a napkin. And that goes along with your coffee and your cookies. And then I also picked up some additional flavoring. Um, I have my vanilla. I have my salted caramel. And then of course I have my French vanilla that I have been using. So that's that. And then in this jar, the glass jar, let me go ahead and show you. I have I have my coffee. So I have the pumpkin spice. So if you would like some pumpkin spice coffee. I have the Green Mountain kind as well, and I have cocoa as well. So anything you need is right at your fingertips. And then I also refreshed. So here is my carrot coffee drawer. If you need regular coffee, here's your regular coffee. Then here is the apple cider in the K-cups, some more cocoa, hot cocoa, and then you have your teas, some peppermint and some Night Me Calm herbal teas. So my tea station is well equipped, well stocked, and then I also added a fall, a pretty fall pumpkin and leaf um, pad. This is a drying pad that I got from the Dollar Store or Dollar Tree and I put it up under my Keurig because sometimes when you pull it, the rubber feet on the bottom of this um, holder uh, scrapes the granite. So I wanted a smooth transition. If you need to pull it you know, forward or back, I wanted to make sure that the rubber feet didn't um, prohibit me from pulling it forward. And then I just picked up a cute little sign and I stuck it on the wall back here and it just says, hello, fall. And that is my refreshed coffee bar. And then up here, I just have a little tabletop sign that says happy harvest. That sits right there in the corner of my microwave. 